Guys, this week there is a ton of new stuff dropping into the game with the Games of Summer update, including a new weapon, map, operators, and tons more. The update goes live later tonight, so let's go over all the new content being added and what's coming up in the event, which will last until September the 7th. First up, if you hate 10 minute vids, then stick around for straight to the point Call of Duty updates. However, to help me compete with YouTube's algorithm, please watch the entire video, like, comment, and share if you can. Okay, let's jump into it. First up, a new weapon is being added in the update later today, the Finn LMG. The heaviest primary weapon class in the game has a new challenger, the Finn LMG, and it will punch well above its weight against many of the existing LMGs. The new weapon can be earned by completing an in-game challenge or a blueprint variant can be acquired by purchasing the mainframe bundle. It's an agile, mobile and hostile tank of the LMG. The Finn Ultralight and open bolt design is uniquely paired with advanced recoil control. This all adds up to a weapon with exceptional full auto accuracy while still being lightweight, allowing for a unique playstyle that further blurs the line between Assault Rifle and LMG. Next up, a new game mode, Kingslayer. Kingslayer is a large-scale team deathmatch on Battle Royale, where teams fight to earn points by defending hostile players. However, the circle doesn't collapse, rather it moves around the map for an agile battle on the go. The top 5 team's top scoring player will be marked as a king on the tack map, and eliminating kings to get additional points and be awarded a free kill streak. So of course, as you can tell, that will be coming to Warzone. A new map is being added called Verdansk Stadium, and of course it just uses the Verdansk Stadium from Warzone. It will be added in a gunfight tournament in the update, and the winners of the gunfight tournaments will receive XP and high tier cosmetics. So it's definitely worth participating in that, and the tournament is also going to be available for free players. Next we have reinforcements inbound for Grand War. In this Grand War mode variant, three flags are positioned towards the center of the map in a similar manner to Domination mode. If you or a teammate are downed, you enter spectator mode instead of respawning, rejoining the battle only after a new flag is secured by your teammates. Claim all three flags and you automatically win the round, win enough rounds, and your massive platoon will earn the victory. A new operator is being added, Sergio Mart Sulla. He hails from Italy, is a skilled tracker who loves Old West and strongly adheres to his own rules regarding right and wrong. And his bundle will be available in the store later today. And that is on top of mainframe bundle, which I already mentioned, and a third bundle, Game Winner, which features a legendary skin for Gaz. So you can pick up all three of those when the update goes live. Lastly, guys, we have a new Trials Tournament. This is a competition that will be taking place over the new summer event. By earning medals in each trial, competitors will prove which country's tier is truly the best in the world. Within Games of Summer there are 5 trials, these miniature experiences are pretty just much the same as the trials that are already in the game, and there are 5 different ones to play in this tournament. By getting gold in the 5 trials during the event, you will unlock a legendary assault rifle Juliet blueprint. On top of these rewards, individual medals will be given points to players in their respective countries, and the country will be determined by your account. Each country's points will be updated daily, and the top 15 countries will be visible in the leaderboards. Total scoring is weighted by country participants, so any nation can rise to the top. Earn medals, rack up points for your country, then at the end of this summer of games, a country will be crowned champion. Alright guys, that is it for this one, everything that is being added in the Summer of Games update which is out later today. We don't have an estimate on a download size or an exact time just yet, but it will be later today at some point. But I will make another video guys if there are any patch notes to go over. If you want to see more Call of Duty news and updates then like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.